Well, I got another story here. This one is about uh, my neighbor Kenny. Lives about three doors down from me. Now, Kenny is one of these kind of guys. He gets up about six in the morning with the roosters. And he hightails it down uptown there to uh, George's Cafe every morning. Meets his buddies there. They get the morning special. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy every morning. And uh, they all sit around there and talk. And none of them can understand what the hell the other one's saying. I call them the idiot brigade. Now, Kenny, he, he's about... I don't know, 40, 50 years old, something like that, and still lives with his mother. He's not what you call uh, retarded or anything like that, but let's just say he's got a leak in the attic, if you know what I mean. He's got a little bit of a speech impediment, too. Um, he gets his, like, his W's. And his R's all backwards and his L's and a bunch of other crazy ass letters. I don't know. And so one summer summer day I was out there uh, washing my truck. And I look up and oh my God, here comes that dumbass Kenny. So Kenny gets over there where I'm washing, washing at. And he's munching on a burnt corn dog or something, I don't know, and he starts in a talking. Sounded like Elmer Fudd eating a cracker or something. And he says, Did you put wax on your talk? So I'm looking at him all confused and I'm going, Well, Kenny, I already got two racks on my truck. I can't get another one on there. And Kenny says, Not wax, I said wax. And I'm looking at him, and I said, I know what you said, Kenny. I can't get another damn rack on there, you dipshit. And then I got to thinking to myself, I'm going, well, maybe Kenny's got his W and his R all backwards again. So I said, Kenny, you asking me if I'm going to wax my truck? And he says, that, that, that's what I thought. I did rack. So I was still all confused, but I think we got her straightened up, and uh, I was feeling a little sorry for him anyway, so I said, Kenny, you ain't got nothing to do. Let's just go for a ride in my truck. I got to get her all air dried here. I don't want to get any uh, 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 water spots on them. So he's out riding around town in the truck, and uh, we get on the outskirts of town there, just outside the city limits there, and there was the old uh, old Crest, Crestwood Farms. Had been there forever. I don't know how long. And uh, Kenny starts in telling me this this story about how he knew Crestwood personally. He worked on the farm for him back there in '76, and he milked the cows and shot coyotes off the tractor and mowed the ditches and stuff like that. And, I was paying his half attention to him. So Kenny starts in on his story. That, 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 that quest one. I go, yeah, it is, Kenny. He said, that back in 76. I, I, I worked the whole time of a quest one. And uh, just, uh, you, you see that ditch? I mowed that ditch. I was on the 4520 John Deere tractor with the Tandem Deweys. I was on a swope. I was mowing on a twope, and I didn't know it, but up behind me, up come Kawapi, and he just weighed boo on his horn as wide as he could, and wow, there I go, 10 feet drop down into an embankment, tracked a wood over the top of me, I got up there with chip one and down the back of my wig, I woke up, and there he was, just waffing it up. Just waffing it up, waffing and waffing. And I said, well, that was a dandy story there, Kenny. Uh, what do you say we go back into town there and I drop you off at your mom's? So Kenny said, yeah, that's okay. So uh, we get back into town there and I, I drop him off at his mom's. And I said, Kenny, 
you make sure your mom gets you that hooked on phonics course that I was talking about last week. And he said, um, he said he would. I go, well, Kenny, I can't understand half the shit you're saying. So you make sure you do that. And he said he would. So by that time, I get back to the house, and Kenny had just drained every ounce of energy I had out of at, in my body, and uh, just trying to figure out what the hell he was talking about. So I get in the house there, and I saw the couch. I flopped on that thing, and I was out like a light. And that's my story.